Dump it. Pull the scope right for wind. Okay. Oh, definitely a magical place, but it's not easy. It's a grind. Hell yeah. Hey, Tom, congratulations. I found him. Oh my god. It's him. Dude, so Dude, my man, he's a toad. <laughs> you guys know how to hunt these elk here, that's for sure. Oh, look at that mass on that buck. Wow. Oh <laughs> my gosh. We have a couple of bulls, but they're watching. They're really nice, but we're going to take our time and make this hunt right. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity that Mike has drawn. We're going to treat it as a once in a lifetime opportunity. We're trying to get in front of this bull. We have two different groups of hunters trying to get on him. He's a 3D frame bull, really pretty. And we're going to feel good. So we're going to haul ass and get over there and see if we can get Yep. That was an impact. big bull that we we're trying to kill, our 380 bull we named Frenchy. He uh, just got killed, but it wasn't by us. Some other hunters shot him and we're gonna go and locate another, another bull and see what happens. So we just got back out here. This is a spot that we uh, have known about for a while. A lot of people don't know this spot exists. So we've seen a really nice 360 bull here about four days ago. And this morning we've been having a lot of shit sandwiches everywhere we go on bulls that we've pre-scouted. So we came back over here to check this 360 bull out. And uh, we just located another 360 bull that's really pretty, but we have the suspicion that there's a bigger bull in here. So. We're gonna just uh, 
look at these bulls and enjoy it. And they're in country that's typically not elk country. It's real flat and wide open. He's a big bull, big frame. So today we uh, spent the morning chasing bulls and beagles. We passed about 20 to 25 bulls. They're all nice bulls, nothing real big though. Everywhere we go, we have a shit sandwich. Our first number one bull got killed. Our number two bull got killed. Our number three bull got killed. And possibly now our number four bull got killed, we heard this afternoon. So it's really frustrating and really tough, but we just got to stay with it and stay positive and keep at it. So now we're back to square one, trying to locate more bulls that are in that 380 class range, but we're hoping to find a bull that's ghosted us now. And he's definitely a 370 to 380 bull. We just can't find him. and. There hasn't been nobody in here hunting, so we're out here trying to turn him up, and the only way to maybe hear him or see him is in the dark, so if we can find him and know he's here, then we could definitely kill him. We'll give you an update tomorrow morning, see what we've decided to do. Double, oh my God, he's a double main beam. That's what we're seeing. Yeah, his other, his left side has the same thing. Oh my God. He went around the corner and he went left. What we're gonna have to do is literally just hunt this, that whole back corridor. If you noticed, all the elk went that way, mm -hmm. except this one little pocket. And then this big bull that we never got to see because he was out of here before dark, before light. So they went back straight in that corner. They're going to probably push up in there and they're going to bed. If so we, we need to try and sit on that, the right bluff? We, yeah, we just need to wait his ass out and get him out here where we can kill him. Dude, that was a giant bull. Thank you. 
he went to some trees. He hasn't came out yet. Dark glass in halfway between Chelsea you back and out. the truck. I know where he's at. I just can't see anything. Oh, I must see Rosie always. I don't know. I don't know. I sent Josh down there, but Josh needs to have the wind in his face. Josh, you up, bud? Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I'll start heading down towards the truck. Is the wind still coming from you guys back? It is. I need you to stop in an open area so I can see where you're at. Copy. I'll stop at the bottom of this ridge line right where that flat is. You should be able to see me. Copy. located another dead bull. The chances of him coming out are slim to none, but we've got to give it a try. We're going to have to pick everything apart and try to find him. So uh, there's a couple good bulls in here, and we definitely got a last day bull if it comes to that, but we're hoping to find this big guy. So. Yeah, you're okay. Start start going slow. He is to your left. So walk forward another 40 yards and start going to straight left. Copy. You're almost right in the spot where we shot him at. Josh, stop right there. That's where we shot him at, right there. You're standing just to the south of where we shot him by probably five feet. Copy. He is probably 50 to 60 yards to your straight ahead right there. There's a little dead pine tree. Look right underneath the tree to the right of that. Look for a five foot dead pine, dead tree. Hey, tell him congratulations. I found him. <laughs> Hoo -hoo! Let's go. <laughs> Sniper. I think it's pin, like just a pinhole. I don't think the first one was a mess. I don't I think, either. I think it hit him back. Really? The, the second shot hit him through the throat, and I saw the smoke coming out when you ran away. Oh. Congratulations! Nice. <laughs> okay, Michael Tom. Yep. Congratulations, man. That's a, that's a very satisfactory bull on a tough hunt. Absolutely. He's a great bull. He's got one break. Him, which is okay, but he's got a triple eye guard here, which is unique. Congratulations. It's him. It's him. Hauling ass. Run. Got him! Another one 
Get another, get, get another, another jacket, jacket, jacket. He's in the trees. He was he's dra yeah, hit him again. He's right there. Oh, that's him. That's Left side of the flyer. trees. That's his flyer. Yep. Please, God. Huh? Hold on. No, no, watch him. He's in the trees. Can you see him through the trees? Okay, then get him right there, right there, okay? Dumped him. You got it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh! Woo! Oh. 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 Let's go. Dude! Mike! <laughs> That's a <laughs> giant! 950 yards! 950 yards and dumped him! Oh! That's the bull. I just saw that big fly. I, well, he was walking to the trees. I saw that extra point going yeah, up. That's it. It's not even, we worked so hard for that bull. Yep, he's down. It's the extra one with the big old points. So grab everybody's binoculars and just put them in the back seat of my truck and then grab the white Dodge and head down here. All right. Bye. <sighs> this is the big flyer bull we've been walking. It's so hard to judge this bull and score him. We don't know who he is, but the cool oh factor. God. <laughs> the cool factor, we definitely uh, weren't gonna pass him up. Wow. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Look at this. Oh, he has another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the bull we saw last night. Yeah. Eight by eight. Right there is what I saw last oh. night. He's cool. <laughs> Dude, look at the mass on that. Holy crap. Look at those two measurements. Those are your two mass <laughs> 41. 386. You beat your number by I got one. my number. <laughs> I made 380. I try not to base my personal experience on just antlers. So. Yeah, that's why you were six foot off the ground when he fell over? Oh yeah. <laughs> I really wanted this elk.